when we have a, uh, our patient, uh, we're going to do the smiley sign. Uh, so I'm going to add the patient and we can just uh, call it a tree shape patient. So you set the patient ID, the first name and the last name. Uh, when you're done, you press the new case. We're going to have a smile design. Uh, and what we need here is just to select one suit. And on the right side here, uh, on comments and attachments, uh, we need to click that and add clinical photos on the, the plus. So I, I think I put my patient here. So we import the uh, two pictures we need. I'm gonna talk a little bit about them uh, soon. Uh, and then we just continue. I can also tell you that uh, these photos are uh, very important for the smiley sign. So you need a full face photo to the left and a full face photo retracted to the right. Uh, we press next and uh, the software basically tells us what to do. So uh, we find the pupils, the nasal wings and the commissaris. And uh, now the software straightens the pictures up. And uh, now we just have to find the lip line as well so the software knows what's lip and what's teeth, uh, especially on this guy, where you have uh, the lips very close or even over the teeth a little bit. So uh, the more time you spend here, the better result you will get at the end because uh, the shadowing from the lip uh, will look so much better. And uh, when we're satisfied, we go to the next. And now we're gonna match the uh, non-retracted photo with the retracted photo. And this is basically to have the outlines for the uh, smile design to see where we maybe need to move some gum, etc. Uh, the trick here is, uh, of course, to, have to uh, first of all have photos taken at the same time, so you don't have uh, photos from different days because it's gonna be hard to have the same angle on it. Uh, and then you just move these points a little bit like this because you will never ever get a perfect match anyway, but you're gonna have some kind of decent match on this. Then we press, press next and uh, now we can see the patient. We can uh, remove those uh, lines if we want to. We can uh, switch between the retracted photo and the full face photo. So basically what I'm doing is just uh, checking for a library that uh, fits the patient. And normally with the Fabulous Smiles book, you can let the patient look in the book and see if, the, if they find a smile they really, really like. So uh, we have 18 nice libraries here, uh, all natural, all uh, asymmetric. So you will see a lot of uh, asymmetry here and that's, uh, that's on purpose. So uh, I will just uh, flick forward like this and uh, check which of the fabulous libraries uh, works best for this guy. And uh, I believe the, uh, the Fab 107 is something we can work with. Uh, it has a little bigger teeth than uh, this patient has, and he needs a little bit more length to get a positive smile line, etc. So uh, I choose, uh, choose the Fab 107 Rogelio, and now it's time to put it in uh, correct in the patient's face. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, quite a big difference between the right and left side. Uh, you, can, you can choose to make the smile design different way. Now I just uh, see what I can do with this guy. And we can make the teeth a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. We can take down the smile line a little bit. And here we have to work a little bit uh, with, uh, with widening the teeth. And now you can see here that if I widen on one side, it widens on the other side if I have the symmetric design. Uh, I really don't want these teeth to be bigger on the patient's left side. So uh, I'm gonna just un ungroup it and uh, we're gonna have to work with this side for it itself. Can maybe add a little bit more length and we can also rotate teeth if needed, for instance. Uh, so uh, here we also have lines and we can see that this lateral is quite big actually uh, compared to the other side. So we can uh, 
we can make it a little, little, bit, little bit less wide and then we follow up with the premolars. I think I missed that one like that. And now our, our, our design is almost in place here. As you see, I change a little bit from the smile libraries. And this is on intention because we still have the smile libraries, uh, but we need to fit them to the patient as well. And uh, normally I can just draw a little bit outside like this. Otherwise you will see a dark shadow there from the original tooth. And we can hide it uh, by just morphing the library a little bit. Uh, you can also, uh, by the way, have this mirror tooth. So if you really want symmetry, if you really like one side better than the other, then you can choose to like uh, mirror teeth like this. Then uh, we go to the next step. And uh, in this step, we basically decide the color for the patient. And uh, what I normally would do is, uh, first of all, take the premolars and uh, you see I can mark just the premolars and I make them a little, little bit darker. Then it will look uh, even more natural, actually. We can brighten this one up a little bit and keep the second premolar a little bit darker. And uh, we can go one step ahead, see if I can show you this tool as well, yeah. Uh, you can see here that uh, the canine is pointing out a little bit and uh, we can move it just like this to come behind and uh, it will not show anymore. Uh, then in the final step uh, where we will show this to the patient, uh, we have uh, a new feature, uh, which is the mirror feature. And uh, this is basically how the patient looks at himself in the mirror. And we can also see if it feels good, looks good and uh, looked balanced. And then you can show the patient the smile design, how it looks. Um, and then we have an option to export the photos. Uh, I will export them here just uh, to be able to import them to the dental system uh, to show you how uh, we can work with the pictures in the dental system as well. Uh, so basically that's it from the 3 ship smile design simulation.